Hey everyone, uh, this is going to be a really quick video uh, showing you how dependencies work uh, with uh, Solidity and uh, how to import files into your contracts um, that you want to inherit functions and variables from. Um, so with that, uh, let's get started. I'm going to create a couple of contracts. Um, so create truffle create contract, and we'll call it add, and then we'll do a truffle create contract and call it subtract as well. So very simply just that. So I've got two contracts created. Um, important to keep in mind, I've already got the deploy uh, contracts um, migrations file already done here. Um, so it's important to make sure you have the add contract get deployed first before the subtract contract since the subtract contract is the one that depends on the add contract in this case. Um, so that being said, all I'm going to do is do a uint public variable and we'll call it total and then we'll make a contract or we'll make a function and we'll call it add and this will take in two variables uh, uint var1 and the uint var2 and with that all we need to do is set total equal to var1 plus var2 and that's it um, so with that, all we need to do is go to the subtract contract. Since we'll have this, since the subtract contract is going to be the one that's inheriting from the add contract, all we need to do is add the uh, salt import the, the add .salt file here, and all we need to do is create um, or add the subtract is with the keyword is here, and it's add. So therefore, now we can actually access the variables and the functions. And all we need to do here, I'm going to just create a quick function called subtract, and uh, we'll have it take in one variable, and we'll call it var1. So with that, uh, the subtract will do um, total equals total minus var1, and with that, we should be good. Um, so let me see here. Let me make sure everything works. If I compile it. Perfect. So let's run test RPC. I'm just going to do this on test RPC for just quickness purposes. Um, we got test RPC going, and uh, with that, all we need to do is truffle migrate. Perfect. Everything's there. Let's go into the console, and let's take the add contract first. So we'll do add dot deployed, and we'll take then uh, function instance. And we'll set add equal to the instance. We'll make an add variable there so that we can interact with it. And we'll do the same thing for subtract dot deployed then function instance. And then we'll do subtract. We'll call this contract subtract. Set it equal to the instance of the deployed. So with that, we can um, interact with the contracts. Um, we can just do a simple add dot add here, right? And if I just do one, one, do the contract or do the transaction, and if I do add dot total dot call, we should get two. So that's just with the add contract itself. Now let's go to the subtract contract. Um, so subtract, if we do subtract dot, now we should be able to access the total variable, for example. So if we go ahead and call that, with the subtract contract, remember we did inherit it. Although it doesn't have the total variable here because we imported it and we did say the subtract is add, we should be able to access it. So with that, it does say it's zero, which means we do have it. And um, actually a little trick you can do here, if you do the contract name and you hit the period and then tab twice, um, you can see everything that, uh, all, the, all the methods that you can access. Um, so as you can see here, we can actually see add here, which is the um, function that we added. So if we do subtract.add and do 1 plus 1, or 1 and 1, uh, perfect. And then we can do the total.call, and there we go. So that allows us to add it, and if we want to do, for example, subtract.subtract, .subtract, and we just want to maybe subtract 1, all good. And we hit the call, and we've got 1. So that very, very simply is how um, someone can inherit, or how a contract can inherit um, other contracts. Now keep in mind, um, if you noticed, each contract has its own state. So if you are working with the add contract, for example, 
that is completely separate from the subtract contract. And on top of that, the add contract um, does not have any access to the subtract functions that we have here, the function that we have here. And yeah, that's it. That's a very simple way to um, import and um, have your contracts be dependent on other ones. And thank you very much.